the Kabari system, it consists of a lot of things. First off, number one is the range, is when you use it. So let's say you knock down your opponent, you're running in, you do Escobar, right? Now, you can tell that when you do this at far range, it puts the opponent not close to you, right? But close enough where you can with punish their 6p, right? Because right after Kabari, everyone uses 6p right after. If you do Escobar close to them, the only thing that you can do here, really and, and truthfully, is 5p and grab, right? Now, if you want to avoid their grab, because the reason it used to be plus one, it Kabari used to be plus one. I made it plus two, so that way you don't get beat by three frame moves, right? And the only way to punish Vic for using Escobari is, is grab, right? So if you use Escobari, right, you know that, that they could grab you. Now, if you use Escobari and use uh, 5P, you get beat. Even though your 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 um 5P is two frames, so that's one way to beat, you know, Vic against Escobari. So the way to get out of that is by a dashing. You get a counter hit for for, for free. Right? If you if you've been in my streams, you know that if someone tries to grab me here, I would do back dashing to to us and I get a big damage combo. Right? You can also use jump, and you get a big damage combo. Right? So those are two ways on using Escobar and knowing how the how the system works. If you do it far range, you know that they can't they can't press a button outside of six feet. Right? They can they can jump, right? If they jump, no, this is where it gets pretty technical. This is where you make a read. Right? So let's say if they jump if they jump, your best your two best options are JK or Yosan Sin because if you do Yosan Sin it's gonna cover all around biking it's gonna hit them right so if they if they don't press the button you're still gonna block that's fine but you're still plus right JK is your best answer because you get a whole combo right you've been in my streams you know that I am famous for doing JK JK Whenever my, my opponent jumps. Now, let's say you want to use um you want to use um JH. Now the only time for you to use JH, only time for you to use JH is when they do six P. Right? Because now you can either punish them for doing six P or you can just take your turn again. And they blocks uh, JH. This is the next part of the uh, system. You put uh, um, Escobar on them. They bat that to us, right? And you get your uh, combo going. You just guarantee it by by two S if your opponent bat dashes. What I'm going to talk about next is the the so-called solution that some players found against Escobar from far 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 range but honestly it's not real right and a lot of people use this against me but i always shake my head because it's it's not real like the system allows me to beat whatever option you do right and the next thing i'll talk about is him trying to run up and grab me right? now i don't know why this became a thing versus biking whenever you do a far range escobar right it would dash up at you and try to grab you mind you you're plus two so why would i get grabbed here you know what I'm but people are using this a lot more against biking now right they're trying to somehow use that option and make it work but it doesn't it's not real i will take the grab because i'm like I'm, I'm flabbergasted that they actually try to even do that, right? So I just let the, the grab happen, but it's not real. You can just punish them for doing 
are doing the, the, the dash, right? They can they can dash block. That's fine. It it doesn't it doesn't really matter because it's still your turn. You can still press a button. Now, for DPS, right? You you see me use the five feet, but you you didn't see it um, come out like at all. Now it should have come out there because I actually waited all the way, but it didn't. So that's what I've been using whenever someone tries to DP. We'll always try to check it, right? But it won't come out because I'm still like, the frames isn't finished yet. I'm still in the recovery frames, right? So the, the 5P won't, won't come out. So I will bait the uh, DP like this and I will get a full punish after. And then after this video, I would make like different videos on different characters, soul, pot, chip, and, and what they do, especially especially against pot, because people are pretty scared on doing Escobari against pot for some weird reason. I don't know why. Like I get it, you're scared of command grab, but honestly, you should be making your opponent scared also. Because if if this is already making people who use charters like Soul, I, Giovanna, Nago, Lewis, why are you not doing this on Pop? Like, like I get it, he does mad damage on his command grab, but you should be making the Pop scared also. Force him to use uh, Mega Fist, and then you can OS it and do parry on it. But I will get I will get to that on a different video. The block string, the block string that I use whenever I put this system into works, they're, they're gonna block. They're not gonna do anything crazy. Right? No, this is one of the block strings I use. It's pretty funny, by the way. No, you can use 2S here, and guess what happens? It brings them back towards you, but even closer. It, it brings them back in, and then you can just do the grab. If if you know that they're gonna block, because they're pretty much conditioned. Right? The, the, the next block string is far slash into Geish. Now, you may, you may be thinking, well, the first hit of Geish missed. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it, it did miss, but you're still plus. That's the reason why I, I do this. So if if the first hit of Geish miss, I'm plus because now I'm going to recovery frames while the second part of Geish is going to hit my opponent. Right, so now I'm plus. Now I could do it again over and over. Right, I'm, I'm still plus. So now it forces my opponent to press a button after the second um, block string of R slash into, into Geish. Now, why wouldn't my opponent just use 6P here? Because it's, it's too risky. It's way, it's way too risky because I could go into something else after the first, the first block string of far slash into, in, into Geish. Right, I can I can go into 2S here, I can go into 2H here, I can go into Yasansen here, right? I can go into to, to, to 2D here. Right, and there's there's so much options I can use. I can even go into Escobar again and and reset the the the, uh, the uh, whole timing for it. There's there's too much options for them to choose to, uh, 6P here. So you will see me use the, the block string over and over and over until the risk builds all the way up. And if they do press a button, they, they're pretty much dead. If, if you're like too close, actually, if you're too close and you use um, 2S and it doesn't bring them back in, you can you can see it. You can tell even like when it's not going like, to like bring them back in. So that way you can just use 2S in the Geish, right? But you see the way how it pushes them, it pushes them all the way back. But it doesn't bring them back in. That way they, they can't 6P you. Right, so now you can just you can do you can do 2s again or you can do 2h right or just do 2s again and reset it so the system it works in Blacken's favor i really don't know why people haven't like labbed this yet <laughs> it, it's it's pretty weird like you, you should be you should be lear like learning this it's, it's free it's free uh damage for uh, biking I use it like all the time because it's it's a layer one thing for for, for biking like like for me because there's no reason for me to do like layer two 
layer 3 of Viking, I mean, layer 1 is still hitting people, right? There's, there's, there's no reason to. Um, and the, the next block string is, is this, right? Now you may, you may be thinking, um, why, why would I risk using far slash into, into, um, H, um, H Kabari? Well, there's two things. One, far slash into H Kabari doesn't bring them all the way in, right? So now it tricks them into thinking that they could grab, but it bakes the grab. Now, here's the other part of far slash into, into H Kabari. It adds a different button now. So, right? Then you could do Escobar again and reset it because you have enough space not to not get grab here, right? Now, the other part of it is. R slash to H in the H Kabari. Now you're supposed to be further away, so that way it brings them in, right? Now it brings them. It brings them in. They're thinking now that they got conditioned into thinking that they're not going to be in the correct space to grab you, but essentially they, they are. So what you can do after that is grab. Everything works in sync, right? Everything, the whole block string works. You just gotta know when to use it and when not to use it, right? If you're close enough, you should be using this. If you're far away, you should be using the, the, the other option, right? So this, this, so this is what makes Viking any code because now you're taking uh, like so many options to cover and to cover them, you must do it correctly. If you don't do it correctly, you're pretty much going to get punished, right? So that's, that's pretty much the general of our system, right? That's, that's what I use like every, every single time I'm playing a strife. Um, it hasn't filled me. There's, there's no reason for me to not use the layer one for for biking when no one hasn't you know got gotten out of it correctly. Um. Anyway, I mean, what you think? Leave a comment down below, and if you haven't known about this, tell me. I'll be I'll be happy to tell to uh, know. And if you're gonna use it, let me know and tell me how much success you got with it. And yeah. Anyway, I'll make more videos on this, but with different characters. So we're gonna start off with Soul, right? And then we're gonna go from Soul, Pa, yada yada, right? Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.